So, every time I go into the gym, anytime I work out at home, I always have a plan. I have what I'm going to do, how many times I'm going to do it. It makes things so much easier to navigate through. You're not just, what should I do next, and waiting, and uh, wasting time so much. Always have a plan together. Um, find some different workout um, ideas, and that's what helps keep you consistent in your workouts. It gives you your goals, and tackle each goal as you get to it. Okay, so I start off every workout with one um, major um, body part or one movement first. So typically, if we were in the gym and you're in my women's weight class, we would be doing barbell back squats. This is what it looks like, and then I'll show you what you can do at home. So typically, I would have a straight bar, heavier weights, I'd go up to a, um, a weight machine, a Smith machine, a, you know, a rack, and I would have the bar on my back, and what I would do is uh, legs about shoulder width apart, pushing that butt back, coming down, coming up, and squeezing your glutes, pushing them forward when you come up. So it's down and up. For an at-home option, if you do not have dumbbells and you don't have something like this, grab yourself a broom, like a long broom that unscrews, put some uh, reusable bags on the ends, fill them with some water bottles, and get to squatting. That's a great way to do this movement, or if you want something a little bit more simple, I can show you how to do it with some dumbbells. Most people have dumbbells at home, at least a few sets you can always wrap resistance bands around them to make them harder do what works for you you could use a kettlebell for this what we're going to do for a modified version or more of an at-home version is a dumbbell squat to a squat jump it's how to get the most out of it if you don't want to jump that's fine raise up on your toes instead working your calves okay so your feet your legs are slightly more than uh, hip width apart toes turned out just slightly okay and you are going to come parallel down to the ground pushing that butt back pushing your weight through your heels okay make sure you're focusing that your weight is in your heels you can always put something under your toes to help lift them up to help get that mind and body connection going but it is down with the straight back and up okay that's the movement is down and up. What we're gonna do is a dumbbell squat and then half down and up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. That would be one a uh, set of six reps. What you're gonna do is four sets of six reps. That's one. Now, do it three more times. <laughs> 